Hello everyone. This is the history tutorial video for class 9. We were doing the Russian Revolution. We had looked at all the factors that went in uh, before the 1905 revolution, the Bloody Sunday and all of that. Now let's look at Russia during the World War 1, how World War 1 affected Russian society, Russian economy, the Russian army and how after World War I there was a change in the attitude of the people. Let's look at that. In 1914, war broke out between two European alliances, Germany, Austria, Turkey on one side and France, Britain and Russia on the other side. Now France, Britain and Russia were later joined by Italy and Romania. So each of these countries had a global empire and the war was fought outside Europe as well as in Europe. This was the First World War. In Russia, the war was initially popular and people rallied around the uh, Tsar. Tsar was Nicholas II. So as the war continued, the Tsar made some very public mistakes. Like the, uh, he refused to consult the main parties in the Duma. We discussed what Duma is in the previous video, if you remember. So, uh, the Tsar refused to consult the main parties in the Duma. Support reduced for him. Anti-German sentiments ran high among the people, as can be seen in the renaming of St. Petersburg into uh, Petrograd. St. Petersburg was a German's name, German name, and St. Petersburg the city was renamed as Petrograd. Petrograd is a Russian name. So anti-German sentiments were there. Also, the Tsarina, the Queen, uh, Alexandria's German origins made, made the autocracy unpopular. The First World War on the Eastern Front differed from that on the Western Front. In the West, armies fought from trenches. Trench warfare was very common in the Western Front. If you have seen the film 1917, which uh, very recently released 1917, you will see how trench warfare works. So in the East, however, this was in the Western Front. Trench warfare was on the Western Front. In the Eastern Front, however, armies moved along armies moved a great deal, covered great distances and fought battles leaving heavy casualties. So defeats were shocking and demoralizing. Russia's army lost badly in Germany and Austria between 1914 and 1916. There were over 7 million casualties, 7 million deaths by 1917. As they retreated, the Russian armies destroyed crops and buildings to prevent the enemies from being able to live off the land. So while the Russian army was going back, while the Russian army was retreating, they destroyed crops and buildings so that the enemy won't be able to live off the land, live off the resources, neither getting crops to eat nor getting any buildings to live in. So the, the destruction of crops and buildings led to over 3 million refugees in Russia. The situation made the uh, government, the situation made the Tsar look bad. Soldiers did not wish to fight such a war, where there was so heavy a casualty, so heavy number of deaths and destruction. Soldiers were even refusing to fight the war. Now, the Imperial Russian Army came to be known as the Russian Steamroller because it was the largest army in the world at that time. So, when this army shifted its loyalty to the rev uh, revolutionaries, when this army shifted its loyalty against the Tsar and began supporting the revolutionaries, so automatically the Tsar, uh, Tsarist power collapsed, the autocracy collapsed. The war also had a severe impact on industry. Russia's own industries were few and the country was cut off from other suppliers by German control of the Baltic Sea. So there was this Baltic Sea which the Germans controlled 
which actually uh, did not help the Russians because uh, the Germans had blockaded uh, any entry or exit of any uh, ship. So G Russia was cut off from other suppliers of industrial goods by Germany. Industrial equipment disintegrated more rapidly in Russia than elsewhere in Europe. So uh, because the industrial goods weren't coming in in Russia, the remaining industrial goods inside Russia were depleting very rapidly. By 1916, railway lines began to break down. Able-bodied men were called up to the war. Able-bodied men, men with good bodies and good health, they were called up, they were drafted into the army forcibly. As a result, there were labor shortages and small workshops producing essentials were shut down. So all the able-bodied men, all the uh, good health men, the healthy men, the huge men, they were called into armies to fight war, to fight in the First World War. So as a result, the people working in the factory, they had a shortage of labor. They had a shortage of workers. The people working in small workshops, they had a shortage of workers. So for the people in cities, bread and flour became scarce. So the bread mills, the flour mills, these stopped working because there was no worker. Everyone has gone off to fight in the war. So by the winter of 1916, riots at bread shops were common. So this was the impact the First World War had on Russia. This was the impact the war had on Russian society, Russian workers and even the Russian government and the Russian army. The impact was heavily felt on the Russian army because the Russian army changed its loyalties. So much the impact was on the army that it changed its loyalties from, wor uh, from working uh, for the government to working against the government and supporting the revolutionaries. So that was the change, that was the impact the war had on the Russian army. So we are stopping here, we will continue this in the next video, we will see how this all these situations lead to the February revolution of 1917, till then, bye.